tomorrow is 7th december and let's see what the market has in stock for us i'm gonna put the chart right away uh, right nifty is forming a proper hanging man so yes so there's a key difference i want to illustrate between yesterday and today yesterday's hanging man was green in color uh, the body you can see that this is green in color this is red in color this is a uh, signal so this kind of signals weakness but this really signals weakness if tomorrow's close is less than today's close then we can see nifty taking a little bit of a dip so this is a hanging man, which is technically a reversal, not proper reversal. Mega. I'm not saying cull 12,000 diagram, right? I'm saying that there could be like a, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, I don't know how many points dip when this pattern occurs, right? This is a hanging man in Nifty. But Bank Nifty more worryingly has almost got a bullish, sorry, bearish engulfing. I would have been super convinced of a bearish engulfing. If this candle completely engulfed the previous candle, but this is only engulfing the body, but I'll take what I got. This is a bearish engulfing, right? So nifty hanging man. Bank nifty. Uh, bearish engulfing. <coughs> we may see a pause or a dip. And I've said this yesterday also because today, if you look at it, right, oh, objectively Nifty did not give like a mega upside today. It is up, yes, for sure. <clears throat> but it's, uh, what is it? Half a percent up? So, something like that, right? Not too much. Uh, how up is Nifty anyway? How, half a percent up. And uh, so Bank Nifty is looking weak. Weak, nay? Matlab, yeah. If tomorrow's close is below today's close, it's definitely weak. So Nifty forming a bearish candle, Bank Nifty forming a bearish candle, um, uh, of course not confirmed but it is what it is right uh, but option chain on the other hand says 2900 is strong but 21000 is also overall strong PCR is 0 0.8 so neutral option chain 2900 has support 21000 has resistance PCR is 0 0.8 which is at best we can call it neutral but again 21,000 is a big towering resistance. So I'm not expecting this to be taken out tomorrow. Uh, going to FI data, FI bought 2 lakh calls and 1.7 lakh puts. So that's net positive. And 1.7 L puts what? Net positive. Is there a breakdown of this in terms of Nifty Bank? Nifty is not no, right? And uh, FI index futures, of course, 2000 crores. Buy that is positive. Uh, and that's not positive, that's bullish. Let me just write bullish. And here's the good thing after so many, so many, so many ages, FI futures OI is. Positive. So 20 uh, uh, overall OI turned positive at 23k quantity. Stock data um, neutral. Uh, ATCR cell uh, very small number. Verdict is uh, see the verdict is tricky, right? Because before verdict, let me see what users are saying. I mean, our viewers are saying. If Nifty, Anirban is saying Nifty, if Nifty 21,000, that's okay, right? Because today, uh, if Nifty's uh, future was also around that level, it's a, maybe 20, 20, 30 point, uh, you know, uh, up, right? That doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, thank you, Bageshwar, for that comment. I'll let the guys who worked on it uh, know your appreciation for them. Uh, uh, VIX is back after May closing about 13. Hmm. Balu is asking a very interesting question. Two lakh calls uh, bought by FIA means all strike prices for all expiry, but this is uh, probably the you know um, uh, 
mostly in this weekly they don't i don't think they really do monthly and all that or far out mainak is asking uh, is this the last leg of the rally <laughs> are you see the thing is this right like it, this is a tough one to predict right because it's not like so one thing about trend following is that you never know how far it can go all we know is that it goes where it goes uh personally i won't be surprised to uh, see uh, okay let me put it this way this is a breakout right it has broken out of the channel and it can come back and test this level again and it can probably go up again so in that sense if you ask me is this like a breakout yes is this the last leg of the rally that depends on what you define it as right so let's say hypothetically right i have to draw a line somewhere so my target on nifty is around 22000 to 23000 uske upar sab kuch ram bharo se so uh, uh see it could be happening like this it could happen like this and it can go like this i don't know right uh, or it can go like this i don't know so uh, is this the last leg of rally this to its stop right i mean maybe another 10% 15% i i don't know right nobody can tell you how much more it can go of course we can do like elliot wave and fibonacci and what not and put reasonable estimates of that um, or let me put it this way right uh, see 23000 is just uh, 2000 points away from here 2000 point is just another 10% right so yaar yeah, 10% ho sakta hai yaar why not Uh, it's not very difficult like the a violent short covering can give you a 10% move right um, so is this the last leg of rally it depends on how you uh, define leg do i think the end is near uh, you know now i sound like one of those guys who say repent sinners at the end is near <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah i think the end is near so i don't want or, or let me put my personal uh, uh, take on this right see i don't want to participate in the last leg of rally because i don't have the guts to do that right i don't have the see even if somebody gives me in writing that boss they go 99% 23000 jana hai i still don't want to do it because see i i i can't take small trades because it's not worth the time roi i can't take big trades because if i take a big trade and if it dips a little bit let's say it goes like this right mai dar jaunga yaar i'll get out here i'll be like oh my god i can't lose the money again so i don't have the uh, uh, time to do small trades and do this rally i don't have the risk appetite to take a big trade on this last leg when there is a possibility that it can go down and i'll get scared uh, so i'm not trading the last leg i'm just letting go peacefully making peace saying that boss mai utna daring aadmi nahi hu uh, but of course i would like to you know i'd like to short this when it all ends but that's like a different story I don't want to end this last violent leg of the rally because last legs of rally is really really violent with uh, you know all kinds of uh, short covering and all that right <laughs> Pavan is saying this is not the last leg it's going to be long very very long uh, maybe yes Pavan who knows right I don't know um uh, uh so yeah surya that's a very fair point i'll try looking at this it's just that i don't yeah i i'll be very happy to share any insight you can give on that um, rbi monetary policy can ignite the market for sure it can you know uh, ignite the market uh, alfred is asking me not to jinx it i'm not jinxing it bro i'm not even saying uh, uh, see jinx jinx is asking my accuracy jinx bro i'll tell you what i've been doing this for 3 years and nobody has uh, you know thrown stones yet so i'm guessing it's overall not horrible accuracy which we are running here uh so yeah <coughs> so so yeah i jinx i hear i i hope you have i have answered your question you know i'm i'm still doing this and people are not out to get me so must i'm, I'm guessing i must have done something right uh <coughs> chiranjeevi is asking we can add gift nifty to this well, yes but there are data costs for showing that which is thoda prohibitively expensive we'll do it as soon as our doc, uh, our brokers get it uh, uh, sharad is saying most hated bull market is most likely i i see the thing is this right i'm not an economist i'm not a central bank governor i don't even know what the actual people who run the world are doing so it's very uh, immature of us 
to take a guess on what the real people who run the world are doing right so i will not make any comments like ki boss nahi mere ko pata hai 23000 pe top aake niche jayega etc um see the thing is we don't know what will happen 6 months from now all we know is what has already happened now right because we are retail investors we have zero idea our our everything around us is lying to us you know financial media has got like a long standing reputation of feeding us the kind of news that makes us buy the absolute tops a lot of equity research up, uh, reports which i have always seen in my life are <laughs> have been fraudulent i worked with some you know quote and quote which i won't name firm back in <clears throat> some year because i'm not going to ma- mention years either because uh, you know my linkedin is out there and they asked <clears throat> people to buy, buy a particular stock who traded at around 52 rupees at that point of time uh, the fun part of course is uh, i remember i shorted that stock at 42 after they said, gave a buy recommendation at 52 the stock went to 28 and the stock even touched like single digits so you know you can't believe anybody right because nobody acts in people's interest like it's so much more easier for a media house or an equity research house or people who are buying you what to do buy sell etc to take some cash from uh, the promoters and the brokerages and the investment banks etc to tell you to buy something when you should be selling something right basically they want somebody to dump if you are not there who are going to dump it on you so i am not going to buy that the people who run the world have their plan they know when to dump when they know when to pump they have media with them they have uh, you know central banks of the world with them everybody is you know a mega conspiracy i'm not pointing one thing it is just that you know the so called quote and quote real masters of the universe can do anything against us and get away right and we can't play in a rigged casino against them when they have much better information but what we do know is what they have done uh, already which is shown in the charts i can't tell you whether nifty will go to 23000 or 24000 but um i can for sure uh, tell you that there is a breakout which has happened and there is a possibility that the breakout uh, can lead to higher highs after a retest consolidation etc so you know all that we know is the data and let's stick to the only thing which gives us any kind of edge which is da- data and charts of course it would have been much nicer to know jerome powell kya karega 6 months by like the so called club which i said runs the world right they can always pick up the file the phone and say hey, jerome bol na kya karega next fed meeting <laughs> but we can't do that right so we have to depend on the charts so i don't think they can sue me for saying this right fed does not have any jurisdiction over this <laughs> so but but yeah basically i think i think this is a mega uh, you know it's 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 very unwise to assume that we know economics or how do you know all the you know uh, us jobs data us inflation data etc is uh, correct right like all these uh, see us us says that china rigs all their statistics how do you know us is not rigging any statistics i mean so so don't believe data don't believe economics don't believe what they say that will happen to the world don't believe in any story you know please look at the chart that's the only absolute truth um, so yeah that's that um, <clears throat> so so what else so yeah the most important thing is that we seem to have entered a bull market and a violent phase of bull market because there's a breakout as long as nifty is above the channel which broke out there's a high likelihood that we can see higher highs um uh, bank nifty of course we have seen many of our you know uh, viewers have sent the ascending triangle so we can track that but till this uh, uh, thing is uh, till this thing is uh, uh, there please don't bet against whoever is running the world right that's all i can say so that concludes our analysis for today uh, we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual uh, you know most importantly please uh, uh, take measured risks please don't take positions that don't let you sleep please don't trade with a size 
वेर यू हैव द फर्स्ट थिंग यू थिंक एवरी मॉर्निंग इज मेरे क्वेश्चन क्या क्या होगा और द लास्ट थिंग यू थिंक बिफोर स्लीपिंग इज मेरे क्वेश्चन क्या क्या होगा लाइफ हैज मच मच मोर यू नो एल्फा कोट एंड कोट दैन वंडरिंग वॉट विल हैपन टू योर क्वेश्चन सो please trade responsibly please trade with risk management please trade manageable size uh, if you stay long enough in this game it's very difficult to uh, lose right so on that note i'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much again guys and uh, please uh, keep your capital safe good night bye